target running is in great position. Right on. Yeah, both of them have great experience. Yeah. Beranger has been around for like 15 years already. I got a chance to talk to her earlier. So she t uh, told me a little bit about what she's experienced over here. And uh, she's been, well, she won Neem with a perfect score in 2011. Oh, is that, I've seen that video on the uh, on the Hoyt website quite a few times. Yeah. So, yeah Against Tatiana Sigina yeah. back then. Oh. And, uh, Impressive. Oh. Yeah. Four, ten, ten, tens in a row. Right. There she is. Shooting on target oh. one. And Naomi defending champion or defending. It does put a little bit of extra pressure on you when you come back as a defending champion. Yeah. I know I've had that win in the British Championships, always harder coming back the, the second time. Definitely. Because it's all marked on your yeah. forehead. There is a champion. People know. People were saying it. Yeah. You know yourself. That's There's the point. Larry and Naomi are two Olympians. Yep. Larry, as we said earlier, only being beaten by Marco Gagliazzo in 2004 in Athens. Yeah, he's got that fourth place tattooed on his wrist. Yeah. Marco going on to win the gold medal. Baron Gagliazzo taking the first. Characteristic front glow draw. And ten. Ten. ten to start off. Once again, going high. Is Naomi going to go high as well? That aggressively pink bow. <laughs> <laughs> a very nice color scheme. Oh, yeah. Exactly the same place, both high. Both high tens. Are we going to adjust? Consistent starting. Belanger loading again. Coached by Isabel from her own club. Good, another ten. Another ten. Good shooting. Very low, but. High level shooting in this gold medal mark. Wow, yes. lovely shot by Naomi. Just what we expect. Yeah, getting there. She's ready. Both of them are there. Let's see what Berenger does on the third arrow. And another ten. Ten, 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 ten. Perfect score to start off with. Can Naomi match it? Of course she can, but will she? Ah, just out. Her facial expression said, well when You can should always I go tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell before the Irish hit the target. 18 meters doesn't take that long, but outdoors, you know the second you've let go if it's going in the middle or not. Yeah. So it's 2 0 for the French archer. So we'll see whether we see a British. We, we have a British medal. Yes. We don't know whether it's going to be silver or gold. Got Jean Charles Valadon and Lucy Holdner as the, the agents for these two archers. Yep. That's always what I like about archery, you know, it's, as it's a big family, you know, even the big names. They Everybody get pull involved. arrows, they're involved, they're helping, supporting. It's very. It's a very great sport. Yeah, because this is an individual individual event, everybody's here on their own, but we still we still behave as a team. We go out for dinner as a team. Yeah. Whereas when you go to World Cups or World Championships, we are there as a team. So it's really nice to see everybody behaving just the same way when we have no obligation to do so. Right. No, it's cool. So the, the, uh, we talked about the, the team from Iceland earlier has been here for the first time, and they're great lads. Oh, yes. Lots of fun. And <laughs> last night I got a chance to... Take six of them, in a well, Morocco, anything's possible in Morocco. <laughs> so you just, you know, overlay your car. One guy was in the trunk and <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> took him to the restaurant. It was it was really fun. Great. Nines, nines all around to begin with. Yep. Exchanging nines over here. Naomi was shooting first, so she was the lower score. She's there and oh, just out. Just out in the yellow. Once again, the facial expression shows it all. Yeah, so Belanger with a chance to take that one over here to increase her lead. Or at least to put the pressure on Naomi. That's the long hold. And nine again. <laughs> yeah. Larry would say click sides, click sides right yeah. now. <laughs> you have to trust and adjust, as my coach Lloyd Brown would say. Trust and adjust. There you go. There we Bye. go. Back to the 10. Coming back strong. So, 
Baron Sharon needs a, a 10 to win the set. 9 to draw. We'll get the 10. Hey. The 10. So it's 4 0. But very close. Mitai, yeah, once you score an 8. See the. Uh, Got what I was going to say there. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. I was going to say uh, once you score an eight in that in that level in a, in a situation like this, it takes off a yeah. lot of pressure. Yeah, it puts a lot of a lot of thoughts into your head. Archery becomes a very mental game at this top level. Definitely. Yeah. When you're shooting well, it's the most thinking you'll ever do. Various mental techniques you can employ to try and get past that. The one Archery GB tr is trying to use is called the, the Chimp Paradox. Okay. R uh, written by Dr. Steve Peters. And I think, I believe Chris Hoy uses it as well. Okay. So it's uh, trying to control your inner chimp, which is, you know, your sex drive, your food drive, your tr drive for a tribe and all that. Mm -hmm. And your, your chimp's like five times more powerful than your, your human in your head, and you're trying to control that and the various different methods of that. Cool. I haven't, as I've only been on the, the program for the past month or so, I haven't got that far into it, but it's a very interesting idea, and obviously it's worked very well for Chris Hoy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Some people recite poetry in their head while they're shooting. Uh -huh. I know a couple of friends of mine that hi hum in their head. Uh -huh. One of them actually hums out loud. <laughs> ten, ten to start off with Naomi. Right on. Back in the middle. She's back in her game. Beranger, very consistent. Draw. Off a bow. Hey. Ten. Responding with a 10 over here. So again, it's millimeters that make those decisions. <sighs> and we Often is millimeters in archery. Yeah really is. You come down to a one hour shoot off, the number of them that are so close you have to get the calibers out. Yep. It's actually ridiculous. So we have the arc system, system both sights and <laughs> stabilizers on this uh, Berenger's bow. Com almost entirely a French system. Yep. Let me still there. Oh, shooting another nine. nine. Well, I tend to take, tend the, to match. take the match. Indeed. Can she do it? She'll know it. And that is where the top level is. She's ready. She's taking her time. Mm -hmm. ten and she does it. it. Ten. Winning that <laughs> match 29 28. 6 0. Very good shooting by Miss Shu. Very good indeed. Yep. Shame awesome to see shooting. Naomi go home with the silver, but silver is better than nothing. Yep. And again, it's proven if you come back to defend your title, it's, it's very harder. difficult. Béranger is really happy. See, there's always that stand with the bow, get a photo taken. <laughs> I know when I won my world championship, there's an iconic photo of me coming off the line, throwing my bow up in the air and yeah. expressing the raw joy as I won that. Right on, yeah. I think until I do uh, have, a, have some Olympic success, that photo will follow me for a long time. <laughs> you see the smile on her face. Yeah. I have been to told that she is a woman who rarely smiles. 